Many years ago, when I was putting together an Outlook training session, I stumbled across an article called Achieving Inbox Zero. This intrigued me. More so, the part that discussed the 4D principle being used when it comes to getting things done. It basically said that when you're looking at emails in your inbox and deciding what to do with them, there are four actions you could take. All actions start with the letter D. Delete. Delegate. Do it now. Defer. This really resonated with me, but I needed to somehow incorporate this into my outlook. So without any fancy extras or add-ins, I decided to use an inbuilt feature that's been around in Outlook for many years. Quick Steps To put it simply, quick steps are a way of combining multiple steps into one single click. Now, who wouldn't want to use this feature, right? I decided to remove all the default quick steps and start afresh. I wanted to have all the 4D actions up here so that they were always visible to me. As a reminder, and a place to click for actioning. I set up one for delete. I know it's probably just as quick to click delete on the ribbon or press the delete key, but that's not the point here. As I said, I wanted all four actions in the same place. Remember, these actions worked for me, but you can adapt them to suit your needs. If there was an email that wasn't for me to action, so I had to delegate it, then I set up the quick step to forward. Chances are, it wouldn't always be the same person I was forwarding to, so leave this blank. If I was looking at an email and I knew it would take me less than two minutes to deal with, then I'd do it now. The quick step action here would be a simple reply. The most complex quick step was the one used if none of the other options worked for a particular email. I can't delete, it's for me to do, but I don't have time to do it right now. Defer. I might categorise it first. Then technically, as I've dealt with it, there's really no need to keep it in my inbox, so I could file in an appropriate folder. Then I'd want it to ask me for a date and time in my calendar that I could set aside to deal with this. Equally, you could assign a task if you didn't want to block out your calendar. Either way, the associated email will be included as an attachment to the task or calendar item. Four D's done. Now, how does it work in practice? Well, when you set aside time to manage your inbox, you look at an email and decide what to do, i.e. which of the 4D actions to take. Hmm, I don't need this, delete. Well this isn't for me to do, delegate. Okay, let me deal with this quickly. Do it now. Oh, I don't have time for that right now. Defer. When will I do it? Let's see, how about two weeks today? And next, and next, and so on. But then when it comes to the time to deal with that deferred email, this is the part I love. It comes round to that day and I think, oh, what's this in my calendar? 
Ah, uh, oh yeah, I remember now. And look, here's the email that I need to help deal with it now. That's the 4D principle using Outlook quick steps. Has it changed my life? Not really. Has it helped me manage my mailbox and time more effectively and achieve inbox zero every single day? Absolutely. 